Linux is easier to learn and use than Windows. I truly believe that people would be better computer users and better people in the long run if they learn to use Linux within their computing career and if they try to really use it in place of Windows at some point in time. And I bet with the right open mind and experience, any Windows user and many of them would be able to be full-time Linux users and never look back. They just need the right introduction and the right situation to set them up. I'm Eples Vox here to make tech easier to understand and more fun via these free educational videos. There's a lot of stigma and confusion around the concept of Linux in terms of its difficulty to use and why one should use it in the first place. I hope to tackle some of that today and tackle more of it in future videos. Here's the top five reasons that I think Linux is actually easier to learn and use than Windows will ever be. Let's jump in. First and foremost, we have the issue of drivers. In Windows, whenever you set up a new Windows installation, whenever you have to reinstall Windows or add a new device for, to your computer, or you just need to update drivers for whatever reason, it's a nightmare. Updating drivers is like the just the fuel for nightmares for many Windows users. Not only do you have to go through a huge hassle and just struggle to figure out where you can download updated drivers from, figure it out, figure out if yours are even updated in the first place or need updated, and many users actually contract malware and viruses that way because you know, there's so many malware laden websites designed to give you dr easy driver updating tools or what have you, whereas they just need a specific driver. With Linux, you don't have to worry about any of that. With most modern distributions, pretty much every driver you will ever need is built into the Linux installation. You just pop in your installation CD, install the operating system, and run your computer, and it just kind of works. If you do have some proprietary specific components, you can use the GUI of your operating system. Just go to your applications menu or your settings menu and go to drivers, and it will tell you if you have any specific drivers that should be enabled to get better performance. It just works, and then your system keeps them up to date automatically. No viruses, no hunting for them, no problems with them in the first place. Speaking of updating, your software all updates all at once. That's another way that Windows users often run into trouble or get viruses or just slow down their computer because every single program on Windows has to run on its own in the background, eating up resources and memory to check for updates. And then you get just pop-ups all at once telling you to update your software, update this, update that, update this, blah, blah, blah. And with certain ones, they even install adware with the actual software. Even Java, freaking Java, almost a core essential needed program for many users installs an ask toolbar to your web browser when you upgrade it unless you tell it not to on Linux again none of that all the software updates all at once through the update manager for the operating system it all comes through the actual operating system vendor it's all safe secure there's no malware it's all handled all at once and it's easy it just tells you hey there's updates install done. No adware, no malware, no searching for it yourself, no processes running in the background other than the standard operating system update service. And it just tells you that no, no, no 500 programs popping up with updates. It's, it's really cool. Number three is that the file system is so much easier to understand. The file structure is amazing. Everything that you need to mess with for your specific user on a computer is in your own home folder. There's the slash home directory, and then every single user has a folder in that home. And that home is where all of your files are, your documents, your pictures, etc. And then your configuration files, where apps, many applications install their config files, all that jazz. So you can literally just back up that entire home folder and move it to another computer, and all your stuff's there. And a lot of your configuration is going to be there, reboot, and you're good to go. Not to mention, it's so much easier to find files you need to mess with in the first place. Whenever I've worked with Windows users and told them to, you know, just offhandedly assuming that they knew what they were looking for, told them to go check on, or, you know, to download a file and go find it, if they go to, if they go to like this PC or my computer, they'll never find where their folders are. If you start out with like the helpful like downloads link or document shortcut or whatever, they'll find it. But otherwise, digging through like the C drive and stuff, many Windows users cannot find files. On Linux, you don't have to worry about that. Click on the home folder and everything is there. It's clearly labeled. It's pretty easy to navigate. Linux is also super, super low maintenance. In many cases, you just install it and leave it and it's good for ever pretty much. Like as long as it works in the first place, it's going to keep working forever. 
And especially if you use one of the systems, like the long-term support releases of something like Ubuntu, then you never even have to do operating system upgrades in the first place for like four or five years, and you just leave things alone. There's updates are only put in place when new features need to be added or there's security issues to address. And otherwise your system just works. It's stable as can be, and it's fast on just about any system, which makes it a lot easier to like run. Like there's no reason to like you don't need registry cleaners and defragmentation because the ext file system doesn't really need defragging just as much as windows's file system does so you don't need to defrag you rarely need to clean out like temporary cache caches people always correct me on that you don't need to you know you don't need to find manual updates or drivers again that all comes through the operating system so much lower maintenance and if you do need to clean up like uh, uh, caches or temporary files you can use a program called uh, what is it called? Called Bleach Bit, which is kind of like C Cleaner over on Windows. And I have a separate video on that coming soon. Card icon or link in the description below or subscribe. I don't know if it'll be up just yet. Um, but that'll clean out some caches and temporary files. But for the most part, you don't need to do any of that. Not to mention, you're not going to get viruses or malware. You're, you're, you're not going to. So you don't have to worry about cleaning up that or running antivirus programs or paying for that crap. None of it. And lastly, pretty much all the software that you need to use is either built into the operating system or only a few clicks away. Other than, you know, specific cases where you need very specific programs or you're just installing stuff for fun. Your web browsers, your calendars, email clients, office suites, all that's going to come pre-installed on the operating system, though not taking up too much space or running in the background or anything crazy like that, but it's all going to come built into the operating system. There's no, oh, I installed Windows, now I need to find Microsoft Office, and then I need to do this and that. No, you you, you installed the operating system, you can run LibreOffice, and you got an Office Suite. You can run Firefox, you got your web browser. You don't need to use Internet Explorer to then download something else. You've got an email client, and everything else is going to be in the software center. You don't have to go find EXEs or any of that garbage. It's in the software center for your distribution of Linux, and you just download it and install it with a couple clicks and a password, and you're good to go. I could go on and on about why, on the whole, Linux is better than Windows, but in this specific video, I wanted to focus on why Linux is easier to use in Windows. I truly believe it is, and I hope I somewhat illustrated that today in this video. If this video was helpful for you, smash the like button, get subscribed for more, for more awesome tech videos as I learn not to speak, apparently, and go check out our sponsor, System76. System76 is, in my opinion, the best distributor of Linux-focused PCs. They have PCs that are designed specifically to run Linux, so if you're interested in trying out Linux, and that's why you're watching this video, and you want to get a dedicated computer made for it right out of the box instead of having to worry about making your own installer and all that jazz, Go check out System76. They have Ubuntu configured computers with their own custom drivers, all made specifically to run Linux out of the box and be completely compatible and run really, really well to unleash your potential. Go check them out. Link in the description below or the YouTube card icon above. Otherwise, I'm Eples Fox. I will see you in the next video.